Welcome to the Multimedia Impact Weather Briefing for Central Alabama. Today is Saturday, December 21st, and I'm meteorologist Jim Stefkovich. This briefing will focus on severe thunderstorm development tonight into Sunday. As we head into Saturday evening from 8 p.m. to midnight, an organized line of thunderstorms will be approaching us from the west. The red shaded area shows the main threat area during this time frame. What is still uncertain is if a few thunderstorms will develop ahead of the main line. If they do, they could become supercells with a higher chance of producing a tornado or two. Even without tornadoes, the line itself has a high potential to produce straight line wind gusts near 80 miles an hour, which could cause significant damage. From midnight to 4 a.m., the organized line of storms will continue to move into central Alabama. And again, notice the red shaded area. That is the greatest threat area during this time frame. During the 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. time frame, the main threat area will shift south of Interstate 59, and the line of storms will begin to slowly weaken and slow down. As the main upper level storm system moves into the Ohio Valley, some of the severe ingredients will weaken slightly. But we still think there will be a risk of severe weather, including tornadoes, in the red highlighted area. From 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., the main squall line will continue to slow its progress, prolonging the potential severe weather threat for southeast Alabama into the afternoon. Due to prolonged rain in the green shaded area, widespread 1 to 3 inches of total rain is likely with isolated higher mounts. This may produce isolated flooding problems, especially in urban areas and where drains are clogged with fallen leaves. So in summary, the main threat associated with this system will be damaging straight line winds, but there will be a chance of tornadoes, especially if isolated supercells develop ahead of the main line or if breaks develop in the convective line itself. Flooding may occur in the southern and eastern counties during the afternoon on Sunday. Here are some safety rules and definitions to remember. I'll give you a few seconds to read these notes. Please start reviewing your safety plans now and make any appropriate changes before the weather starts this evening. There is a high likelihood of a watch being issued tonight. If a warning becomes necessary, enact your safety plan and take shelter immediately in a sturdy structure. Thank you for watching this presentation today. For rapidly changing situations, please see our graphic cast advertised on the front of our website for the latest information. If you have any additional questions, please give us a call at 205-664-3010.